something different. Uh, but how many people here have cell phones? If you got your cell phone, raise your cell phone. Get your cell phone. Pull it out. Pull out, raise it. I want to see everybody got a cell phone. Throw your cell phone up in the air. <laughs> Wave it like you just don't care. You got your cell phone. Look at all these cell phones up in here. Oh, who y'all calling in the choir? That's what I want to... <laughs> Jesus is on the main line. <laughs> Got your cell phone. The cell phones that we had, in order for those cell phones to be produced, most of the cell phones that we have, you need a mineral called coltan. A mineral called coltan. Much of this mineral comes from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The Congo was at one time uh, was a Belgium colony. In 1960, they declared their independence, and a gentleman by the name of Patrice Lumumba became prime minister. Patrice Lumumba went to Ghana and sat at the feet of the father of Pan-Africanism named Kwame Nkrumah. Kwame Nkrumah, is the sc our school down the street, is named after the father of Pan-Africanism. And when he realized, sitting down with Kwame Nkrumah, he could go back to the Congo, and the Congo could grow and develop. Uh, but because there was so much money at stake because the majority, one of the richest countries on the planet is the Congo. The Belgium and the U.S. government, it was Dwight Eisenhower, got with the National Security uh, Office, and they said that this man needs to be eliminated, and they passed information to the rebel forces in the Congo, and they found Patrice Lumumba, and they assassinated him. And then a gentleman by the name of Mobutu became, became to power. And the U.S. gave him over $300 million to oppress his own people to make sure gold and silver and coal tan would continue to flow to Europe and the United States and Australia. And then in 1997, when Mobutu died of cancer, uh, there was another person who came to power by the name of Kabila. And Kabila then eventually died, but a civil war ensued. And in order to finance the civil war, because cell phones were exploding at that time, they would mine coal tan. Doesn't seem like much, but in order to, this cell phone you have, the cell phone I had, it has coal tan in it. In order to get that coal tan, they would kidnap children to mine the coal tan in the Congo. In the last 10 years or so, 5.4 million children have been murdered in the Congo. 5.4 million people, I'm sorry, have been murdered in the Congo. Over 50, almost 50% 50 of them, children. That every time you purchase your cell phone, you finance the oppression of a child of a country. And there was a particular law that was attempting to be passed in the U.S. Congress that kept dying. It was called the Conflict-Free Coal Tan Law. So that no company in the United States could receive coal tan from the Congo or any other area where children are being used, where it was being financing a civil war, where murder was going on, all of that. And this war that is going to 5.4 million people. Let me, let me explain it this way. In World War II, 400,000 people died. In the Civil War, 500,000 people. 5.4 million people. Larger than any other conflict, any other war since World War II. More people have died in the Congo than any other conflict in the last 40 years combined, but no one has heard a thing because it's happening in Africa, in the Congo, and there's so much money at stake. Coltan. So this is what we are asking. did this last week. We are simply asking that you would do three things. Number one, is that there is a letter that we passed out today that connects with this. That you would sign that letter so that it can go to Dick Durbin 
so that they can pass this law. The second thing is every Wednesday, every single Wednesday from 12 to 1 and 7 to 8, here's something that is a novel idea. Turn off your cell phone. I mean off, no, not on vibrate. Turn it off and put on your voicemail why you have turned it off. Why you have turned it off to educate people about coal tan. We're calling this Don't Be a Sellout Campaign. C-E-L-L. -L. Don't be a sellout to finance the oppression of our own people. You're not going to see this on CNN. They will not broadcast it on MSNBC, ABC, CBS, NBC, and Lord knows Fox ain't going to say a word. 5.4 million children, children who are 8, 9, and 10 years of age, who are, using, are being used to mine with their bare hands so you can text and play Angry Birds. And here's what you can do. I gave you two things. The third thing is simply this. Do not upgrade your cell phone. There's some other phones. He said, oh, he's about to have a hold of it. He's about, about to pass out. In the name of Jesus. Do not upgrade. Because what do you, you want to get a new feature that you don't use anyway. So you can just say you got the new phone. But remember now, every time you purchase, because they're using new, new cell phones. I'm not talking about the landline phones you have at your house. The cell phones, you are promoting the death of children in the Congo. Just by buying a cell phone. The cell phone you have, can it make a call? Then that's what it's for, right? Amen. You got all this other stuff. You're trying to videotape. Get, get, get a video recorder if you want that. You buy that. But simply do not upgrade your cell phone so that we can begin to pressure companies to let them know that we cannot stand for this kind of activity. Choose life. Choose life. Here's some information I found on the substance, coltan. Coltan, short for columbite, tantalite, and known industrially as tantalite, is a dull black metallic ore from which the elements niobium and tantalum are extracted. The niobium dominant mineral in coltan is columbite after Neobium's original American name, Columbium, and the tantalum, dominant mineral in tantalite. Tantalum from coal tan is used to manufacture tantalum capacitors used in electronic products. Coal tan mining has been cited as helping to finance serious conflict, for example, the Italy conflict in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Production and supply. Approximately 71% of global tantalum supply in 2008 was met by newly mined product, 20% from recycling, and the remainder from tin slag and in inventory. Tantalum minerals are mined in Australia. Brazil, Canada, Democratic Republic of Congo, China, Ethiopia, and Mozambique. Tantalum is also produced in Thailand and Malaysia as a byproduct of tin mining and smelting. Potential future mines in descending order of magnitude are being explored in Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Uganda, Greenland, China, Mozambique, Canada, 
Australia, the United States, Finland, Afghanistan, and Brazil. A significant reserve of coltan was discovered in 2009 in western Venezuela. In 2009, the Colombian government announced coltan reserves had been found in Colombia's eastern provinces. <laughs>